This is a review of the M5A7H or the MP5 air spring rifle uh, from evike.com. $16 on evike. Um, let's see, first thing I'm going to say is about the sights. Comes with a mock reflex sight or red dot. And the uh, thing is, this is way higher than the barrel, so using it in warfare is pretty much useless. So you want to go ahead and at least I went ahead and took that off and I just used the iron sights, which are pretty good. Um, and then right here, your mock silencer, just take that off too because, I don't know, maybe you want to keep yours on because yours is on straight, but mine came and it's a little bent, so it throws my shots off. Um, the safeties right here, it has a S up here for safe, an E for beats the hell out of me, and F for fire. I mean, I'm thinking the E's just for show, so you can be cool and say you have three different types of things. I don't know. Um, let's see. The stock is actually really nice, really well constructed. Holds on there, doesn't move at all. And then you just push a little lever, and you can take that right off. So here's the completely deconstructed version of it. Um, let's see. Came with a little uh, sling, which is pretty nice. It's metal. Uh, the hooks are also metal on the sling. Came with a tack light and a laser. Laser's not on right now, the tack light is. But the thing is, the batteries were dead when I got it, so they're just on there for show. You uh, reload with the charging handle on the side. Go ahead and show you. So that's what it shoots like. Um, says it shoots, I think, uh, 260 FPS. I'm not sure. So don't uh, quote me on that. Oh yeah, that's right, 260 FPS. But I'm thinking it shoots at least 300, unless that's just because of the hop up. Yeah, this gun does have hop up. Not adjustable, but uh, it's pretty good hop up. Sometimes your shots will fly off into the air, but most of the time they're really good. The clip right here holds, I think, 21 rounds. Yes, 21 rounds. Just finding this all on the box. Um, you have to slide down the lever, obviously, and push this button, load all your BBs in. Then when you're done, put it in the gun, and there's a little button on the bottom. That's already pushed in. Okay, usually when you slide down this, this button will pop up, and then, yeah, then you just push it over, and it'll push it on up. I found that for some reason, if you don't, like, forcefully put in this clip, um, then you reload and shoot. It sometimes will not shoot. It'll just sit there. Uh, let's see. On the shots, I actually put holes in the box, so it's pretty good FPS. Range is really, really good. Uh... I'll go ahead and tell you that now. It's a pretty heavier gun than I than I expected when it's all constructed with the uh, stock and the silencer on there. It's a pretty heavy gun. Feels good, light, light enough. Not like a heavy weight, but pretty heavy. For shooting power, I would give it. I would give it. I was expecting maybe I would give it a 6 out of a 10, but I would give it at least 8. Um, let's see. Range, 10 out of 10, definitely. Hop up, I'd give it a 7 because sometimes it'll throw your shots into the air. I don't know why it does that, but it does. The, uh, sight, mock reflex, that's a 0 out of 10. It's completely useless. Mine actually came, and it is crooked and they're crooked so it doesn't even work. Um, durability, that's 10 out of 10 for sure. Um, and then accuracy, I'd give it maybe like a 6 out of 10. So uh, overall I'd say this gun's about a 7, 7 out of 10. So if I was you and you're just starting off looking for a nice rifle off of Evike, I would definitely get this because for the price it's a really good gun. You're not going to expect a uh, really nice gun. For 16 bucks, this is really, really good.
So, uh, thanks for watching this. Be sure to watch the M4 review over on the side if it is up. And also, we should have a Mauser review up pretty